Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I recently became debt-free and are now working on saving up six months worth of expenses for a fully funded emergency fund. We use a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing methods to stay on track because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. <laughs> Well, hey you guys, thank you so much for choosing to hang out with me again. In this video, we are going to be doing a cash stuffing for the third week of August. But before we hop into that, I have a fun unboxing to do. So she said yes, reached out once again and asked if I wanted to choose another piece to show you guys. And there's actually a specific piece of jewelry that I've been eyeing for quite a while. So I decided to go for it with this piece of jewelry and I'm really excited to show you. I have a feeling that it might be one of my favorite pieces I've ever gotten from them. So when you first open the box, they give you like a little card so that you can write if this is like a gift for somebody. And then an instruction card on how to care for different types of jewelry, which is super helpful. And then I show this in every video because I just think it's so smart, but it also comes with a gift bag. And I have gifted a few of these pieces before that I have gotten and I use this gift bag and it's a little wrinkly when you first open it, but these wrinkles do come out if you just like lay it flat for a while. And then it also comes with this really pretty ribbon that you can tie around it. So love that they do that in case you are getting this for a gift for somebody. I'm excited to show you guys what I got this time. So this is white gold. They have moissanite stones, which is like the next best thing to diamonds. So if you're looking for a really good cost-effective like, engagement ring, wedding ring. Um, they also have a bunch of other types of jewelry as well, like necklaces, earrings, bracelets, and even more than that. And they customize jewelry as well. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I'm obsessed with that. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I wanted to say this about this ring, the ring, the tag real quick. So you can, when you receive your jewelry, you can try it on, make sure you love it, make sure it fits and all of that. And if for some reason you want to return or exchange it, you need to leave this tag on because if you take this tag off, you cannot exchange it or return it. So I always tell people that. I'm obviously keeping this because I'm obsessed. Look how pretty that is. And it's like all the way around too. Oh, that is gorgeous. I seriously love it so much. So in case you guys are in the market for some new jewelry, you're looking for a gift for somebody, I do have a discount code in the description in case you wanna check that out. And then I will also link all of the other pieces that I have gotten from She Said Yes as well. Thank you so much to She Said Yes for asking me to collab with you again. I love working with you and I am so happy with this ring. Thank you, thank you. All right. Time to get into today's cash stuffing. And like I mentioned earlier, we are going to be cash stuffing for the third week of August, which means fall is coming. I'm so excited. And we're gonna be cash stuffing a total of $1,565. We're actually gonna be stuffing a bit more than that, but I'm gonna explain where this came from later on in the video. But for right now, we're gonna just do our regular cash stuffing. And I've kind of decided I'm gonna start doing my cash stuffing a little bit differently. Well, not my cash stuffing, my videos. I'm gonna start doing them a little bit differently. And I'm gonna be talking about different topics during certain videos, like a lot of questions that I get asked and all of that. So stay tuned. But for today's video, what I decided my topic was going to be was kind of like, not really our, our debt journey like in specific detail because our debt journey was so messy and like I don't remember dates and numbers and I mean, it was just, I wasn't really keeping track. We were just trying to keep our head above water and pay things off the best we could and we did make a lot of mistakes along the way which is actually what next week's video is going to be about. So if you're not subscribed or you don't have the notification bell turned on, definitely do that because next week I'm gonna share five mistakes we made while we were getting out of debt but for this week, I'm going to just kind of share what has led us to like where we are today and also kind of why I started the aesthetic dollar in the first place. So we're going to get started with my wallet and it is pretty empty. Every single envelope in here is empty except I have $2 left in my spending, which we're going to set aside. And I do have some receipts, which I'm going to scan into my Fetch Rewards app. And if you guys are not familiar with Fetch, it is basically a rewards app where you can 
scan in your receipts. Those receipts turn into points and then you can redeem those points for gift cards. So I'll leave my referral code up on the screen like I always do and you guys can check it out. We both get bonus points when you scan in your first receipt using my referral code. So it's a win-win. But let's get to stuffing my wallet and I'm going to be looking at my cash planning page like off to the side here in case you're wondering how I know like what exactly I'm needing to stuff in each envelope. I have my cash planning page that I have already filled out. So spending is gonna get 25 like it usually does. Eating out, I budgeted 100, and I did remember to do it all in 20s. So we're gonna do 40 of it here and then 60 of it in our main eating out envelope. The kiddos are going to get $10. These are like really nice tens. My bank has been dishing out some pretty nice $10 bills lately. Self-care. So I'm probably going to get a fill within uh, the next like week or so. So I'm actually going to take the money out of my self-care envelope. And depending on how much I have, I might also get a pedicure. I haven't quite decided yet. And then this week into self-care, we are also adding 40 so total in self-care, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. So that might be just enough. It also depends if I have time. I never really set enough time aside to like get stuff like that done. And then kindness and miscellaneous. So I did a $5 bill, but I think... I have $5 in my miscellaneous envelope, so we're gonna look and see if we, I don't remember which, this is not the right binder. Like, I can't remember which binder it's in. I think it's in high priority. So I'm gonna do my best as I'm explaining our debt journey and what led me to starting this business in the first place. I'm gonna explain all that and I'm gonna try not to say um a lot but I can't make any promises because when I'm trying to concentrate and tell a story at the same time, it's hard to do both. So fair warning, but that is it for my wallet for the week. It feels good to have this stuffed again. It's been empty for a couple of days. So we're going to first start with our high priority sinking funds. And we are also going to start at the beginning of the story. I'm going to take you back to 2013 when my husband and I first got married. We got married and paid for um, almost our entire wedding ourselves, but we paid for it in the form of debt. So credit cards and lines of credit. We both also had student loans and credit cards as well. Home is gonna get $30. So we did not start off very well. Like we literally started our marriage in debt. Home has 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. So 380 in home. And that haunted us for a really, really long time. So fast forward to 2015. By this point, we had both added a car loan. Clothing is getting 60. And we had our first baby. We had Liam in 2015. Clothing has 100, 200, 300, 350, 4, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 500. I do have an unstuffing I need to film soon. I just, I only have like 12 transactions on it and it would be like a 10 minute video. So I'm just going to wait maybe until the end of August and then I'll just film one unstuffing for the whole month. I did July off camera cause it was like, I was desperately needing to do an unstuffing but I didn't really have time to film it. So that's what happened in June. Uh, beef and pork is getting a hundred. So now we have 500 set aside. Six, seven, eight, nine, 1,000. One, two, 250. 270, 290, 300. So, right? No, yeah. Yes, 1300 is what we have in here. So we need 1800 by November. So we had Liam and bought our first house, which was probably not the smartest idea considering where we were in our debt journey, like up to our eyeballs in, in debt. And we just felt like, we were actually renting at the time and the, our landlord told us that they were going to sell the place and gave us like a deadline for when we had to be out. And so then we were like, well, I guess we should buy a house. Beauty has 100, 152, 20, 40, 60, 80. Did I grab cash for that? See, this is the problem when I try to tell stories. I promise I'll get better at it as we go along. 
Okay, so dogs needs 20. So we bought our first house and then we had Eli while we lived at that first house. 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240. And it was shortly after we had Eli in 2017 that we attended our first Financial Peace University class at our church, which is where we learned about Dave Ramsey's baby steps and the cash stuffing system and all of that, like the debt snowball. And we like dove in head first. We were really consistent with cash stuffing at first and making a budget and then over time I think just with like switching jobs and just the busyness of being new parents we kind of let it slip and um, honestly cash stuffed on and off up until 2021 which is kind of when I um, no 2022 which is when I started my YouTube channel because I wanted something to hold me accountable Chickens is getting 100, so 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 400. So 2017 was when we did our first Financial Peace University class, and then we bought our second house, and when we sold our first house to buy our second house, we had a surplus of money because we were able to sell it for a lot more than we bought it for because we did renovations on it. Horses is getting 80. And the market was different at that point in time too. So we ended up making some good money on our first house, which we used for a down payment on our second house. Was that confusing the way I just said that? So when we sold our first house, we made like a decent amount of money off the sale, put some of that down on our second house and then paid off all of our debt except our student loans and our vehicles. Um, so basically our consumer debt, line of credit, credit cards and all of that. We had to pay that off in order to get our second house, to purchase our second house. So Horses has 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. I wasn't even paying attention anymore. Is that 600? 1, 2, 3, 4, 455, 20, 40, 60, 80. Yeah, 600. So when we moved into our second house, I was pregnant with Rowan, who's our third baby. So we ended up having her and Bristol while we lived in that house. And pretty much the entire time we lived there, we were doing renovations, health is getting 40, and fixing up the place, but it was never completely done. It's still not done because we still technically own that house, but we don't live there either. So we're it's empty and we're finishing up all the renovations so that we can sell it. Health is get or. Health got 40, so 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 335 in health. So I'm going to back up just a little bit. Oh, miscellaneous. So I took five out of here to put in my wallet. And then the other five that I budgeted, I've already used, like stuffed into my wallet. So that's it for high priority. Next, we're gonna do low priority slash long-term sinking funds. So in 2022, my husband, who is in construction, he was a project manager for a really good, um, well-known construction co company. Um, so eating out's getting the other 60 because I put the other 40 in my wallet. So that would make 100. Entertaining is getting 40. So he was a project manager, but he was getting really burnt out. He hated going to work every day. He was taking on so many projects because technically they should have had two or three other people in his position working alongside of him for the amount of work he was having to do. And he, it was just too many projects at once. He couldn't keep it straight. And it was just like normally people in his field have maybe like six projects at a time that they're working on. And he was working on like 13, I think at one point, entertaining his 20, 40, 60, 80. And it was just too stressful and he came home one day and he was like I'm gonna think I'm gonna quit and just focus on my own company which he had started a few years prior just to do some like side jobs for friends and family Chris is getting 25 for his spending and I was like so you're gonna quit this bougie well-paying job to start your own business I'm all for it like I'm all for the self-employed life I was like this is awesome however $260 is what we have in family fun. I did use some of this money because um, 
we got a few things for the kids to play with outside. And so we just took it out of this envelope. I was all for him like quitting and starting his own company, but I was like, okay, we're not in a financial place right now because we're still paying off debt. There's still a lot of moving parts in our life. We have to get a grasp on our finances. And one thing we were always really good at was making a budget, but we weren't always so great about communication with the budget when things changed. And so I'm like, we need to start cash stuffing again so that if, you know, both being self-employed with incomes that are not consistent, if we both have like a low income month, we need to be able to have some money to fall back on. And I knew that cash stuffing and having sinking funds was the way to do that. Self-care I already stuffed in my wallet. Gifts is next and it's getting 30. And so I'm like, I am going to start. So I got a system all set up and cashed up for a couple weeks. And then I started my YouTube channel because I wanted something that was going to hold me accountable, like to show up every single week and make sure that I was cash stuffing 100, 20, 40, 50. So 150 in gifts. And that's exactly what happened. So I started my YouTube channel in October of 2022 and I have never missed a week of cash stuffing because of that YouTube channel. And there have been weeks where it's been really, really hard to find time to do like film a cash stuffing, but I've always made it work. And so that definitely worked out in my favor that I started the YouTube channel for that reason, because it did hold me accountable and we were able to hit a lot of our goals because of that consistency. Hockey rink now is 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 30, 40, 50. So that was why I started my YouTube channel and I loved watching other people's cash stuffing videos too. So it was like I could watch other people's and then film my own, which I personally think is just as fun. So pool's getting 10. So now it has 500, 6, 7, 750, 770, 790, 800, 10, 20, 820 in pool. So I figured out how to make my own cash envelopes through a lot of trial and error I watched a tutorial video on YouTube and then just kind of like put my own spin on it and made it my own thing. Seasonal lawn care is getting 10. So I made my own envelopes. I made like what you guys know as the budget binder today. It was like the very first version of that. I made it for myself exactly designed for how I needed it to work for our situation. I made my own teller slips and it was just for me to use because I couldn't find anything on Etsy or anywhere, honestly, that was like minimal and like had the aesthetic that I was looking for. So that's why I made my own things. I never had any intention of selling anything. I just wanted something that I was gonna be excited to use every single week. And so I started my YouTube channel. So seasonal lawn care has one, two, 250, 270, 280, 290, $300 in seasonal lawn care. And I started getting all of these comments of people asking me where I got my supplies and I was just like, oh, I made them, ha ha. And then people are like, well, you should start a shop because I, I want that stuff too. And I, you guys, I had no intention of starting a shop. I already had another full-time business that I was running and it just like having four kids, I'm like, I don't know if I can take on another business, but then I thought like, oh, why not? Like, it's not that big of a deal. I'll just, I'll just put together a website and you know, it's not going to be, it'll just be some nice, like fun side money. Very quickly, I found out that was not the case. So Garden um, now has 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, $440 in Garden. So I launched my business. So I started my YouTube channel October of 2022 and I launched my business December of 2022 Let's see, renovations is getting 50. So now we have one, two, 300, 354, $450 in renovations. Medical is getting 50. So now it has 1,000, one, two, three, four, 450. So 1,450. And honestly, people always ask me for like, business advice or vehicles getting vehicle maintenance is getting 100 so now it has 200 advice on like how to grow your business or how to start a business all of that you guys i honestly don't feel like i am equipped enough to be giving that kind of advice because i still don't know what i'm doing i kind of feel like it was a fluke my very first youtube video that i ever posted like got a ton of views and i got a ton of subscribers from it i had no idea what i was doing i just think there wasn't a lot of minimal stuff when I started. And so it was just kind of something different. I honestly don't know. I honestly have no idea why that happened. 
other than God completely having a plan for what I'm doing. So, which is honestly probably what it was. So I don't feel like I'm equipped to give business advice because I don't know what I did. Like I have no idea what I did. I still don't know <laughs> what I'm doing and I do fly by the seat of my pants. Memberships now has 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 320, $330 in memberships. Tax prep, it's getting 20. But that's kind of how it happened. So a tax prep has 500, 550, 570, 590, 610, 620, 630. All right, that's it for low priority sinking funds. Next, we're gonna do the kids binder. All right, kids clothing is getting 20. And there have been so many ups and downs that I've had. I've had so many struggles in my business. Um, kids clothing now is 50, 50 one, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220 dollars in kids clothing. Um, like in the beginning, inventory was really hard for me because I started my business. It's always been a debt-free business and I refuse to go into debt running this business. And so I was running into a lot of issues with inventory where I only had so much money to purchase inventory and then all that stuff would sell out super quickly. So then I would reinvest all that money back into the business to get more inventory and then all that would sell out really quickly and then people would get mad at me and it was really discouraging. And now two years later, I'm finally at a place where I feel like I'm getting the hang of it and I have the funds to purchase the amount of inventory needed so I can launch a new product and then still have some on the shelf to sell after launch day. So school expenses is getting 10. So now it has 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 125, 130 in school expenses. I figured we better start stuffing this again since the kids start school in like two or three weeks. Back to school is not getting stuffed actually. That one has plenty right now. Birthday parties is getting $20. So 100, 200, 253, 20, 40, 60, 80, $400 in birthday parties. But yeah, so I've had inventory issues. I've had issues finding manufacturers. That whole process is always a nightmare. I think anyone that uses manufacturers would agree that that is one of the harder things that we do. So 100, 152, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 300 in hockey. Each of the kids is getting their five. So Liam now has 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. Other things that you have, not you, I mean, in general, people. People have to keep in mind too is that when you put yourself out there on the internet, there's gonna be people that hate you and don't like you and say mean stuff to you. And I've just had to really grow some thick skin because I am the kind of person that I take everything pretty personally and um, I want genuinely what's best for everyone but I also don't want people to mistake my kindness for weakness and so I think that there's like a fine balance in between there. Eli got five so he has 50, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. Hopefully I put five in there. Rowan is getting five so 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. But there are so many exciting things coming for the shop. So that's kind of like the history, I guess, of this two, almost two-year-old business. And like literally I've only just started. Like the more I learn, and I've, I've had to learn some really hard lessons, like things that I don't talk a lot about on the internet, some legal type stuff, um, not bad stuff, just like tax stuff and copyright stuff and trademark stuff. And there's just a lot of things that I, I think when you're starting a business, that you just don't know about, which is me. Like I had no idea about a lot of that stuff. 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100 for Bristol. So there's just been a lot of things that I've had to learn in the last couple of years, but I truly believe that it will make me um, better for it, like a better person. Miscellaneous was already stuffed in my wallet, so that's it for miscellaneous, and that is it for the kids binder. But the one thing that I will never forget is just how incredibly grateful I am that this 
is God's plan for my life. I truly believe that it is. Valentine's Day is getting five, so it now has 100, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 155, because I love waking up every day and going to work. Like I love Monday mornings because it means it's like, it feels like a fresh start for the week. Easter got five, so now it has 100, 120, 25, 30, 35, 40. And yeah, I think with finally having my main manufacturers that I'm working with and the relationships that I've built with them, like one of my reps just got married and I sent her a wedding gift, like just stuff like that. Like it's just so nice to be able to build relationships with your manufacturers and the people that you work closely with. Uh, Mother's Day now has 100, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And there's also a lot of sketchy stuff that goes on with manufacturers too. Like I saw, somebody sent it to me actually, some on some like wholesale website, there was like a, a shop or a company or something that had a picture of my binder on there and they are not my manufacturer and not, it was like a Sophie binder. They are not my manufacturer for anything. And so I messaged them immediately and I was like, you need to take this down. Like this, hey, you didn't make this binder. Like you're literally making people think they're buying like the same binders that I sell when that is not the case because you're not my manufacturer. So A, you're being dishonest and B, that's my photo. Like, no, they took it down within a half an hour, but I was like, are you serious? 20, 25, 30, 35. But that's just it with like, with websites like AliExpress or um, even like Shein and Timu, like I've seen them rip stuff off. Like I won't partner. I've had Timu reach out so many times asking to partner with me again. I'm like, no, like you steal people's designs, like small business owners. It's just, it's awful. So 4th of July got five. No, yes, five. So now it has 50, 55, 60, 65. Let's see here. Okay. Halloween is getting 20. I will be shocked if I get to the end of this and everything is correct because I've been just talking and not paying attention. So now we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 300. So I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to stick a fully funded placeholder in here. I decided I'm going to keep, I've been using my new black Sophie money bag for um, going to the bank. So I'm like, I'm going to use this for all my, these are all like imperfect placeholders. I have so many of them. So we'll stick fully funded in there because I don't think we're going to need more than that for Halloween. And then Thanksgiving is getting 15, I think. Yes. So yeah, there's just a lot of things like that, like lessons I've had to learn. And it honestly, like when I saw that photo on that website with that company that did not manufacture that binder, like my, my heart dropped into my stomach. I was like, that's, like it felt bad for the people who were like, oh my gosh, it's the aesthetic dollars binder. And then like ordered from this company when in reality, that's like, they didn't make my binder. Like I feel bad for those people, but then also like, I feel like something was stolen from me and it's just, it's such a icky feeling. So Thanksgiving now is 100, 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200, five and 10. So $210 in Thanksgiving. And I am so, like I mentioned before, so close with my manufacturers that like they all know that these are my designs and they have like signed contracts not to sell them to other people. So um, Black Friday is now fully funded. So I knew for, a, I actually sent a screenshot of it to my manufacturer and I'm like, just in case you want to take any legal action on this, they're basically stealing from them too. So Christmas now has 1,000, 1,500, 16, 17, 17, 50, 18, $1,850 saved up for Christmas. So yeah, I've had to learn lessons like that. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a really fun collab type thing in September um, that I think you guys will really like that will answer a lot of the questions I've been getting about my business and like just how to start a business, how to like gain skills in certain areas. So New Year's Eve now is 100, 150, 70, 90, 95, 200, 5, and 10. So $210 in New Year's Eve. So I'm excited for that. Seasons is getting 10. So it now has 100, 200, 250, 260, $270 in seasons. And seasonal decor is getting 50. 
So we have one, two, 253, 354, $450 in seasonal decor. And that is it for our holiday binder. All right, so next we're gonna move into our savings challenges. And the first one we're gonna do is our 5K savings challenge. And sorry, I got off on such a tangent with <laughs> the manufacturing thing, but it's just, it's a big part of what we do. And I get a lot of questions about it. So August week three, we are doing 75. My family just got home, so it might get kind of loud. Okay, so, so far in August, we have 100, 152, 20, 40, 45, 50. $250 for August. Next, we're gonna do the 10K savings challenge. And we're doing 150 for the third week. All right, so so far for August for the 10K, we have one, two, three, four hundred, four fifty, five hundred dollars. Hopefully, you guys are all able to get some items from the handmade restock. These were on there, but I do have an idea for these since the handmade ones always go out of stock so fast. So keep an eye out because I will be talking about that soon. Okay, so for the 2.5K savings challenge, I started this one at the beginning of this month and instead of playing catch up, I have decided to switch up my savings challenges. You guys know that I was doing the denomination savings challenge for a while and I was taking out like any leftover money in my wallet and putting it into that savings challenge. And I'm just not, like I, I need to change it up or I get bored with stuff. So I went ahead and took all of the money out of that savings challenge. So the, I had the like $5, $10 and $20 savings challenges. So I had them in here, but you can see how much I had saved up in each one. So I took out all the cash from here and then I actually figured out like which denominations I would need for each of these challenges. And when I went to the bank, I made sure to get those denominations instead, but all of this money came from that. I'm gonna count it quick so you guys know how much I had so far, but then we're gonna stuff it into the 2.5K. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 850, 870, 890, 910, 920, 30, 40, 45, 50. And this was also some from the $1 savings challenge. I should add that. I'm gonna put this in there so that it makes sense. Okay, so now we'll, we're not gonna get completely caught up with this one, but we will be a lot more caught up than we were. So for February, all four weeks equals $180. Make sure it's 180, 150. Okay. And I'm gonna fill in the, the bubbles another time. I feel like I'm on borrowed time right now with my kids all just getting home. No, we're just gonna go like this because y'all know I can't get this in the envelope unless it's facing the right way. But I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I've missed as far as like the history, like why I started my business. $205 is what it's gonna go into March. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to finish both of these or all three of these monthly savings challenges at the same time. And then I'm going to have to figure out something to do for the new year. I might do the 10K again, but then I want to add something else. $210 for April. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about like the origins of the aesthetic dollar, let me know in the comments or else. I will talk next week about um, five mistakes that we made while we were getting out of debt. So if you want to hear about that, like I said, make sure to subscribe or turn on the notification or whatever so you don't miss it. But I'm really excited about that one. All right. And then June and July, we will just kind of keep working on 
as we go along through the rest of the year. But then for August, we're gonna get caught up and it is $130. I cannot believe we did not mess up this week. Oh my gosh, I don't even remember what I was talking about. I just had to go. There's just like a lot of commotion that was happening. My mother-in-law was dropping off Liam because he was hanging out with her today. And then Chris got home with the other three kids. Well, Eli was home with me and then rode with Chris to go pick up the other two. And so everyone got here at the same time. And then the girls wanted to go to my mother-in-law's house, but Eli wanted to stay here. And it was just... Insane. So I don't even remember what I was talking about, but I'm like winded from going up the stairs. <laughs> oh, I need to start working out. Anyway, I wanted to just simplify everything. I just felt like it was a lot having like three monthly savings challenges going plus the denominations plus everything else. And I just wanted to simplify it just a little bit through the end of this year. And then we'll start up some like fun new savings challenges next year. Like I know for sure, I think I want to do maybe the pets savings challenge as we save up for horses and maybe like the one month ahead savings challenge. I don't know. There's a couple of like the newer ones that hit the shop that I am wanting to do personally. But one thing I do know that we're going to keep doing is the $1 savings challenge. And you guys will all understand this, but I kept these ones. I didn't actually bring these to the bank because they're so beautiful. But we're just gonna stick these two ones from my wallet into the $1 savings challenge. So I'll keep collecting ones because I don't know what else to do with them. <laughs> But that being said, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it blessed you in some way, and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Have a great week, you guys.